Hello, it's Michael Watts here, and in this video I'm going to look at something that sits firmly in the weird and wonderful category. So a few days ago I was chatting to a dear friend and one of my favourite players, Adam Miller, out in Australia, and the subject turned to, inevitably, uh, microphones, and in particular, clip-on microphones. Now you may have seen these in action. I think one of the uh, the first designs was the DPA uh, 4099. Since then several similar designs have hit the market and uh, I think Neumann have just brought out uh, a similar model as well. So I'll be very keen to have a look at that. Now these microphones can be very practical to use and I've had good results in the past, but I can't help feeling that maybe the sub-miniature size of the, the microphones and their capsules is leading to a bit of a compromise when it comes to sound quality. I've had the same conversation in the past with Hugh Price. Uh, his name will be familiar to many of you through his columns in Guitar.com, Guitar and Bass magazine over the years, and now Guitarist magazine. Hugh and I pretty much agreed that there has to be some sort of compromise when you're using a smaller microphone. Uh, but then he said, hang on, I've got something. It's a bit weird, but I'll send it to you to try out. Let me know what you think. And here it is. So this is the Live Strings H Clamp by Explore Audio. Now these came out in around 2006, 2007. It's essentially a mic stand that you can clamp onto your guitar. The idea of the H-clamp is that you can use any of your own microphones instead of being limited to a smaller design. So I'm going to grab one of my Gefell M300s and we'll mount it up. Right, so we've got the mic in the stand and I'm now going to try and add this to my guitar. Now it is obviously much larger than any of the other designs, but that's kind of the point. Uh, I'm going to push this, here we go, all the way in. Yeah. I mean, maybe. <laughs> so first of all, this isn't going to work, is it? Right across the strings like that. So I'll loop that. I wonder if I can put this in here. It's nerve-wracking stuff, this, isn't it? Mm, maybe not. Right, so I've set this up to be as practical as possible, I guess. Uh, I've put the clamp right here on the shoulder and it feels, you know, pretty firm. Um, one of the disadvantages, in this case, of using a guitar with a tapered body is that any sort of clamp system like this is going to be slightly unpredictable. Um, this is addressed, uh, I should say, in the uh, exhaustive instruction manual. So, I've got the mic about five inches away from the body join. Uh, another thing that I was conscious of is proximity effect uh, that you get with a cardioid condenser mic, where the closer you get, the more boomy, warm, or indeed uh, detailed and delicious, depending on your point of view, uh, the sound gets. So, where I am here should be just riding the edge of any sort of proximity effect. Um, aside from that, well, the first thing I notice is that visibility is hampered right at this end. I don't really see much in between the 10th and 15th frets. So uh, anything up there with this is going to be guesswork. <laughs>
well, this is an interesting idea. I would probably feel a lot happier using it in the studio than for live work. I can't imagine being, yeah, just something sticking out that far uh, out into uh, into the stage just doesn't really uh, appeal to me. Um, we've also got a fairly heavy duty mic lead, whereas uh, with other clip-on mic uh, designs, obviously get a much thinner cable involved. Now in the instruction manual that comes with the H-clamp, they do say that you could use an even heavier mic. I don't really like the idea of putting anything larger than this on my guitar, but if you wanted to clamp a, a U47 or something on the front of yours, um, have at it. What a, what a wonderful and, and deeply weird thing. Um, so if you've used one of these or uh, you like the look of them, um, let me know your thoughts. And indeed, if you have found this video interesting, educational, or indeed informative, uh, please do subscribe to support my channel. I'll see you next time. Until then, stay tuned. Thank you.